Welcome to 12.10, Relative Motion Analysis of Two Particles Using Translating Axis. Throughout this chapter, the absolute motion of a particle has been determined using single fixed reference frame. There are many cases, however, where the path of a portion of a particle is complicated, so that it may be easier for us to analyze the motion by parts or by using two or more frames of reference. In this section, translating frame of reference will be considered for the analysis. Relative motion analysis of particles using rotation frames of reference will be treated later. Since such an analysis depends on prior knowledge of the kinematics of line segments. In terms of position, the absolute position RA and RB is measured from O of fixed XYZ reference frame. In this case, we have RA and then we have RB and then this is RB relative to A. So we can write it as this. RB equals to RA plus RB relative to A. Using the same convention, when we want to calculate for the velocity, we differentiate the position divided by time. So in this case, by time deriv derivative, we have VB equals to VA plus V b relative to a. The relative velocity is observed from the translating frame. Similarly, for the acceleration, the time derivative will also yield ab equals to aa plus ab with respect to a or relative to a. When applying the relative position equation, it is necessary for us to specify the location and the translating x, y, and z. As a vector addition form as a triangle, they can be at most Two unknowns. Unknowns can be solved by graphically, trigonometry, or resolving into rectangular or Cartesian components. In this example, a train traveling at a constant speed of 90 km per hour crosses over a road. If automobile A is traveling 67.5 km per hour along the road, determine the magnitude and direction of relative velocity of the train with respect to the automobile. So we need to determine the magnitude and the direction of relative velocity of the train with respect to the automobile. So in this case, when we draw this, we are going to get a diagram pretty much like this one. And this is the velocity of the automobile. So this equal to 67.5. And then this is going to be the velocity of the train. And this is going to be Vt equals to 90 km per hour and this is the relative velocity and if we extend this we can get the direction later and this is we label this as vt with respect to a velocity of the train relative to the automobile in this case we can write the equation as vt as the resultant equals to va plus vt with respect to a if you know uh, if we write this as i direction and j direction, we are going to get vt equals to 90i. 90i equals to va, which is 67.5. Please take note that this is 45 degrees. x component is 67.5 cos 45i plus 67.5 sine 45j. And the vt relative to a component plus v relative to a and this is our unknown when we solve against the i and j's finally we are going to get vt with respect to a equals to 42.3 i minus 47.7 j from this i and j representation we can calculate the magnitude of the velocity of the train relative to the automobile here we have vt a equals to 42.3 to the power of 2 plus 47.7 to the power of 2, we are going to get 63.8 km per hour. Using the diagram that we have, the x component here is 42.3, and then the y component here is equal to 47.7. And then we need to find the direction. For the direction, we, we can use 10. 10 theta equals to 47.7 divided by, by 42.3 and later we can calculate this into 10 minus 1 7.7 divided by 42.3 and finally we will have 48 degrees during to this direction so this is the answer 
for the direction.